Bernina is known for the little hole in the back of many of their feet for a seam guide. So the seam guide came with your machine. I'm gonna show you how this works and a few other ways to stay following the right seam allowance. But this is actually one of the Stitching Cosmos online course quilts that we have done. And I wanna show you how we were able to keep these decorative stitches so perfectly parallel to each other and they were actually on a curve. Now, if you're wondering what this is, this is paper piecing. We actually teach you how to make your own paper piecing patterns. And look, we even did decorative stitches to enhance it when it's done. Check out all the information regarding the Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course, including 10 videos you can watch for free. If you're wondering about the quilting on this quilt, yes, I do use the Bernina Stitch Regulator and I do all my own quilting. So with the seam guide, one of the things people always ask me about, and they find a loose screw in their accessory box. They think it fell out of the machine somewhere. All it is is the screw from the behind one of those feet. So you just find the one that's missing the screw and put it back in. Now, if you ever lose it, is that there's always a screw from another foot that you can steal from. So you loosen it up a little bit. After you slide it in, you can then measure how far from the needle you need the distance to be. Then go ahead and tighten this screw. So here's a trick too, is not just tighten it with your fingers, but go ahead and tighten it with a screwdriver. That's why they come loose and people find them in various places. So here's how this worked. We did a decorative stitch and we stitched it along the curve and then we moved out here lined it up so then we can follow that around again without having to draw a line. But you could set this, look how far away we could have duplicated this seam way out here for however far this guide will allow you to stitch. So it is really, really fun. So on a foot that is the dual feed foot, like what I have on the machine right now, it's the 1D, you're gonna just go ahead, you can take and slide this through that little opening. Let's go ahead and loosen it. You'll slide it through two of them on this one and then you'll tighten it back up. And again, go in and tighten it with the screwdriver to get it set. And then you'll be able to follow along very easily. Okay, so it, that is the seam guide that comes with the machine. But there's actually two other things that you can use for seam guides. First, you have your throat plate is in both inches and metric. So you can follow along with that. And you have the seam guide that comes with the slide on table. So let me show you how easy this works. You just slide it up to the table, push down on the lever and push in. Now it's slideable. So even if you just wanted a nice little runway right up against your foot, you can slide that all the way over and your fabric's gonna glide perfectly along. To take it off, push down and pull towards you. It is easy to put on and put off. Now I know if your machine is in a cabinet and this is not an option for you to use, then of course this is not always as handy. But if you ever go to a class and you have your table on, don't forget to pack your seam guide. Everybody will be so jealous.